I have people coming in, you know, all the time buying cassettes. Let's rewind for a moment. Do you remember making one of these? Mixtapes used to be all the rage, but actually more artists are releasing their music on cassette, and some of them are going for a pretty penny. There is a new generation of music lovers falling in love with the sound of a tape rewinding. In 2017, around 6,500 cassette tapes sold. There was a 14% rise in Canada in 2018 with around 8,500 new tapes sold. While those numbers mark new releases, there are some vintage tapes by Canadian bands that will cost you a couple of Robert Bordens. What is the most a cassette has sold for for you? Uh... 500 US. That was about 665 Canadian. What was it? It was Bare Naked Ladies. What you can it? believe it. It was their very first demo. There was only like two guys in the band. And it's actually really good tape. Um, they did Talking Head Psycho Killer on it. Scott Kramer is a musician and owns the music store Neurotica Records in downtown Toronto. He's also a cassette enthusiast. There's about like 20 boxes like this around, just, just of like my own tapes. I never got rid of them. Kramer has noticed a steady demand for cassettes and says that the record industry has taken note. There's a bunch of new bands getting putting their stuff out on tape. They put it on Spotify and have a cassette. So that's definitely a resurgence. Just a few minutes from Kramer's shop, there is a store dedicated to selling cassette tapes. There is some younger folks coming in. Um, we do have like some very young, some children coming in who have never seen tapes before, and uh, we get to show them how it works, and that's pretty exciting. If you are looking to expand your music collection to include some cassettes and you're worried over how you're going to play it, there are some companies that are releasing a new version of the Walkman. Lindsay Dunn, City News.